Hey guys, what is up? This is Matthew Davis, me once again, uh, continuing on with my uh, reviews for The Last of Us TV series, continuing on with episode 7. In this episode, we follow as Joel is in really bad shape after he got injured and Ellie is trying to do everything she can to try and save him. But uh, it appears that uh, nothing seems to work, so when uh, she tends to leave, almost leave Joel behind, she then has a flashback of how her and her best friend Riley were having the last few great moments of their lives together. As Riley joins the Fireflies and wants to take Ellie on kind of like a date a little bit. And she takes her to a mall, which honestly kind of reminds me of Dawn of the Dead. The fact that, you know, infected and the mall, they're trying to have a fun time in the mall. So yeah, this is based off The Last of Us Left Behind DLC. That, of course, wasn't in the original game. We never heard about Ellie's backstory until 2014 when that got released. And I highly recommend the DLC. It's just as good as the game, the full game itself. And you can play it anywhere. It's on The Last of Us Remaster for PS4. And it's also available on the PS5 port as well. And, of course, this is the event where we see Ellie get bit. And, of course, Riley gets bit as well. And only one of them manages to survive. Because one of them is immune, of course. Now, what I love most about uh, Ellie's backstory of this entire thing is due to the fact that, you know, she had a very close friend, best friend to be exact, and the fact that she has a crush on her. And throughout the episode, we see, of course, them having a fun time, and uh, they're having some of the best times that they've had in a really long time, but some of them tend to get ruined when some drama starts. Of course, Riley is basically doing this because she may never see Ellie again, just due to the fact that she's going to be joining the Fireflies. And from there, we see them just having fun. But of course, some of that gets ruined when she does mention that. And of course, the mall is full of infected, so occasionally something bad might happen, which it will, spoiler alert. But really, what really makes this episode work for me is the chemistry between Bella Ramsey and Storm Reed. They're incredible in this episode. They give it their all here, and it pays a lot of homage to what made the Left Behind DLC so memorable. Like, their chemistry is very touching, and when it gets dramatic, the performances just... <laughs> they're completely invisible in this. They do not feel like they're acting at all. They truly feel real. Like, when Ellie gets bit and her reaction is insane... And when she does almost tend to leave Joel behind, she just does not want to leave Joel behind. She just doesn't want to lose anybody else because that's the biggest thing. Her biggest fear is just being alone. Like, she could care less about the infected, especially since, well, she's immune to that. And it's just a very deep episode. And it's one that I just had a lot of, like, I wouldn't say fun because it's not really a fun like it's a lot more story building and sometimes story building can be fun but at the same time it was fun i best i guess the fun part for me was just watching uh storm and bella just uh be on screen together as we see them play video games and the video games actually work this time ellie doesn't imagine video games in her head just and the and the layout in the design of the mall is incredible and while we do see some product placements of some familiar restaurants like Panda Express and Subway, they're not just, like, blown right into your face. It's something that, honestly, feels a bit necessary. I mean, hell, they're playing Mortal Kombat 2, which apparently seems to be, like, Ellie's favorite game, and she has a poster of it in her old room. And a lot more other parts, like, uh, we see them drink Moonshine, and, uh, don't worry, they don't get drunk, but... Just seeing them act like adults, and technically they're teens, just just seeing them do a lot of adult themes in this honestly makes it a bit more charming to see. But of course, it's far more dramatic than that. This episode really follows uh, on the uh, subject of loss and the fact that bad things are going to happen. Like, enjoying... Basically, just enjoy the fun while you can, because later down the line, it tends to get bad, because of course... Ellie was born during this whole apocalypse. It's basically like she's skipping school to have fun. And after she skips school, she's pretty much, you know, just dealing with uh, trying to survive. And in the end, this is another fantastic episode. It's by far one of my favorites. It's one that it's one of the episodes I'm going to remember the most. And just like with Bill's backstory and Ellie's backstory, 
it shows that there was a lot of LGBTQ elements to these backstories, and it's honestly great to see because this is a show based on a game that really raises the LGBTQ flag, and it's something that I enjoyed watching. Performances still are fantastic, and I cannot wait for the next episode due to the fact that a little somebody that was in the original game makes an appearance. Ooh, uh, if you've watched the episode, you know who it is, but cannot recommend this episode enough. This show is just on a roll. We have two episodes left, and I'm going to be sad once that final episode comes. But hey, we're still going to get season two, and yeah, amazing episode. By far one of the best. It really ties between this and episode uh, five. Yeah, five for me. Uh, so much love and care has been going on to the show. I know I sound like a broken record, but I just cannot <laughs> tell you guys how much I'm loving this show. I could just go on all day. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I have quite a bit of few videos planned, including my end of the month vlog I'm working right now. And uh, I am going to review Hogwarts Legacy. I just beat it, so there's that too. And uh, yeah, Creed 3 is going to be coming out, but yeah, you, you, you know what I mean. But thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Word out.